Welcome back, everybody. Our Blues are coming off two wins if you keep in score at home and going for a biggie tonight. So mm. what do they need to do to pull off this final win, just cinch this mm. whole thing and send it on to the Stanley Cup playoffs? Laura's standing by right now with somebody who knows. Laura Hediger, what's up? Oh, she knows. Oh, good. She does know. Exactly. Thank you very much, you two. We're going to call this Blues Notes, kind of like the blue note, but notes as in what you need to know. Okay, yeah, I'm glad you totally got that. This is the gal that knows it all. This is Ashley Weiss with the St. Louis Blues. Ashley, I am so excited to see you again in round three. We've met each time in each of these rounds. Let's talk about the keys to tonight's game. What should the fans be looking out for? Okay, Laura, well, first of all, I'm certainly glad to be back this far, and this is definitely the biggest night for the Blues. They're one win away from clinching the series and heading to the Stanley Cup final for the first time since 1970. So a big thing tonight, though, is going to be keeping those emotions in check because the nerves are going to be there. The crowd is going to be absolutely insane. So the guys do have to keep their emotions in check. The good news is they've already clinched two series here at Enterprise Center. So they've shown that they're able to do that here on home ice under pressure. Mm -hmm. From an X's and O's standpoint, really, an early start is a really big thing. The Blues have been very good whenever they can start early. Whether that's scoring a goal or just establishing the forecheck early, that's what you want to look out for for the Blues tonight. And there was an early start on Sunday. It was a 5 nothing shutout. Schwartz, Tarasenko were both huge in that game. Do you think their energy level is still going to be the same tonight as we saw then? Oh, I absolutely do, and here's the reason why. Jaden Schwartz has been the Blues' leading scorer all postseason long. He's only one goal away from tying the franchise record for most goals in a single postseason. For that, he would be tying Brett Hull, which mm -hmm. is a name that's obviously a huge honor to even be in talks with. And then Vladimir Tarasenko, he has points in each of the five games this series, and so even if he isn't scoring a goal, he is a very good setup man. That's something that's very underrated part of his game. And then also on Sunday, we saw several Sharks players go down and out. What do we know about those injuries? Yeah, so there were four Sharks players who were injured. The biggest three are Joe Pavelski, Eric Carlson, and Tomas Hurdle. Three very big names for the Sharks. Now, yesterday, Pete DeBoer, the Sharks coach, would not say if they were even traveling to St. Louis, so we won't know. The Sharks do skate at 11.30 today, so we'll see who at least is in St. Louis, but I will say I would probably expect him to call all three of those guys' game time decisions mm -hmm. only because there is so much at stake here, so they won't want to play too much, give away too many of their cards. Ashley, I really hope I see you either next week or the week after that in round four, the Stanley Cup final <laughs> at that, that point. Always good to talk to you, and we'll send it back to you guys. Remember, the puck drops at 7 o'clock. Yep. So much excitement all throughout yes. the St. Louis area. Yes, yeah. there is. Thank you, Laura. We'll talk to you again in a bit. Mm -hmm. And you don't need us to tell you that the Sharks will throw Everything, everything they can yep. out on the ice tonight. So when it's you be get, interesting. When you get pounded like they did, yep. Ooh, uh, the yeah. tendency, especially when there's this much on the line, is to come out with all guns blaring. Yeah, it'd be a fun game to watch.